Okay, so now we'll give July 2nd, 2023, seed of the week a try and see how this goes. Don't think we're going to have a vanilla map on this one, but uh, the other thing I actually want to do here Before we get started, I'm going to throw out these notes and get another pad here to take some new notes on. And we will get the timer started and get going here. So three, two, one, go. Okay, looks like we got Nara here. Uh, hold up a second. Do we have the sound on? I don't think I had the sound on there, but it should be on now. My bad on that. Okay, Nara's got 45 attack power and she's got Transform. That's Transform's not going to do anything, but um, that attack power seems nice. Um, she's got a Chain Sickle. And we'll use that Strength Seed here to give her one extra point of Strength. And... I think... I guess I can get her a couple Medical Herbs here. Just in case. Alright, and let's uh, really see too much. So let's go out and start our adventure. Uh, let's hit the uh, K first. See what kind of items we grab here. Plenty of healing. We'll do the Ismit check here first. Mystic Acorns, uh, sure, why not? We'll just use them. Three points, minimum roll. Okay, we got some scent pouches here in case we want to attract some enemies. Hey, we got Swords of Lethargy here that are expensive, and Swords of Decimations. And we got Wings here too. Mirror Shield, so... We got Lethargies, Decimation, we got... Mirror Shields, um... I, I'm actually going to buy a wing here, so I'm actually going to sell this lunch and buy... Eh, I guess I could buy two wings, why not? So if we get some high-ticket item drop... Uh, where's this? There it is. If we get a high-ticket item drop, then we can use that to... Sand glass of regression, no thank you. Uh, flying shoes I'll take. I'm actually thinking maybe I'll just use those flying shoes and head to the tower. Might be able to just level up Nara a little bit and see if we can... that great. Oops, I meant, oh, let me run from these guys. Let me use 
use a medical herb here. Shield of Strength. Okay, will she wear uh, equip it? Yes. Okay, so that gives her healing. Now we definitely don't need those. Um... HP is not looking too good here. Check these chests here too, just to see. Whoops. No, thank you to the scent pouch. Ah, uh, yeah, why not? Three points. It's probably better than the strength she's getting from these levels. Generation. No, oh, we got him. Kind of looking for uh, Iron Apron. That might be. Oh, that's what she's already got. Never mind. Let's hit the heel tile. I'll check these other two chests. Um, kind of hoping for Nar to get a little more HP first before going in and fighting the Shadow, because it's probably going to be a lot of fighting. A oh, one. Or, like, if she could try to learn some kind of spell, like beat or something. Uh, 64 to 65. One point difference. Uh, I think she's going to need that. Let's get rid of the wing. So we, already, we only need one at this point. One point of strength. Uh, you know what, I'm going to try to do a little more grinding up here, just to see if we... Uh, I don't think I'm going to fight the Blaze Ghosts. I could always... Uh, 1147, it's not that much money. Let's go uh, give this a try and see what happens.
Okay, um... Yeah, there's not much here. I think we're just gonna have to... I mean, I guess I could go get the NPC. Take fights along the way to see if we can... I think probably the NPC is gonna be the answer at this point. It would be nice to get one more level here, but... Who do we get? Orin. It's an Orin with a lot of HP. And 67 attack power, so... Let's check these other chests here just to see if there's anything that would get us out of this chapter quickly. Otherwise, I think with Orin we might... Uh... Oh, Sword of Malice. Okay, maybe she cannot equip it, but that does give her... It's not really going to help with the chapter, but it can help with something like this. Sacrifice. Don't think she's going to be sacrificing herself here. Oop. They put Nara to sleep. Now. We might see. Warren finish this off. this goes now. Got him. Okay. That was a little bit of a annoying fight, but we made it through.
And the good thing is, we got a wing and the flying shoes, so we can get out of here pretty quick. Okay, so this is going to be Nara's final time, I guess you could say, for her to show whether she is going to be playing in Chapter 5, but in general, I don't think Nara is very good. And most likely will not be playing. Oh, bye kill! I think Nara might be playing. And her HP started getting a little better too. All right, let's see who we got here. Hey, it's her sister Mara. Hopefully her sister Mara will be a little better than Oh, Fire Claw, huh? But she will not equip it. Life Force Nuts, okay. Okay, so we got Ragnar and Krista. Let's see the uh, AD powers. So, actually, everybody's generally pretty good. I'm going to put Ragnar in front, Krista, Mara, and let's check. He's got a wake, so that's no good. She's got sacrifice, so that's no good. wonder if... Ragnar will use a Fire Claw. Uh, yes. So we might be okay. Um, there's nothing over here, so we gotta go through this swamp. Maybe if we can get a level here, that could potentially help. Uh, Ragnar's looking pretty good. Christo's okay. Mara, that's not looking good, except for the HP. We got a double here. It's going to be all attack here. And they're dazed, so that is a good thing. Hopefully that makes an easy fight. We're assessing this very easy. Okay. Ragnar is like just kind of very average. It's not great, but he's not bad, so I wouldn't rule out using Ragnar. But same with Christo, but if they get something good.
Well, I don't think Mara is going to have an HP issue in the tournament, but I think she might have a strength issue. If we can either get her good weapon or get her... I'm just going to actually give these to Ragnar, because Nara doesn't need it. Alright, let's hit Bazaar first. Let's see what kind of goodies they sell here at the store. They sell an Abacus of Virtue and Sword of Decimation. Uh, they sell Metal Babble stuff here. Yes, and it's much better, too. Mm. wonder if we can... Sometimes stuff like this can... There we go. Alright, let's give that to Mara for now, get her defense boosted up a little more. Alright, let's hit the cave. Uh, hopefully we get a bird song nectar in here. Uh, golden bracelet that quick, I might just um, grab the thief's key. We don't always have to use it right away, but I just figure it can help. And it opens up another shop, too. Okay, um... That's not good. And that just made it daytime again. Uh, let me check these shops while we're here. They got a dragon killer and bronze armor. That's expensive. They got some wings here. We could use those. All right, let's go back to Frenner. I'm just going to dive the cave here. At least the first floor. Bird, up, oh, we got it. Let's go. Wasn't sure if like in the last seed if they might drop a uh, Sword of Miracles, but oh, let's just see what's over here. It doesn't hurt to check this. Agility seed, okay. Alright, let's wing... no, nope, not Golden Bracelet. Wing to Santine. I'm not sure if we might need to get a few more wings here, too. 
we got two wings, so one to get to, let me think about this here, one to get back to the tunnel to Endor, and then the other to get from Endor back to Santeem. So we're actually fine with wings. So one to Bazaar. I think the shrine was up here, yeah. Let's see what they got here. Uh, not too much. How about up here? We do have lethargies here. Don't think I'm going to grind up to 22,000 to try to get a lethargy when... Yeah, this stuff's kind of expensive. Alright, I think what I'm going to do here is I am going to buy some... I thought there were medical herbs here. Maybe it's this shop. So I'm medical herbs. Load up Mara with medical herbs because... Uh, actually... get a, um, some kind of weapon for, no, she won't take an iron fan. I'd like to get some kind of weapon for Mara. I mean, she's got 43 attack power, which is not very good, and we're not going to be using Sacrifice. get her a Staff of Punishment. Maybe a Copper... Eh, uh, Copper Sword's kind of weak. Yeah, let's do that. She equips it, too. And we might as well spend the rest of this money on something. Um... Yeah, that, that's better for her. I'm just going to get some Iron Claws here just so we don't lose this money. All right. Let's do the tournament. I think uh, with her having that Staff of Punishment, that'll do it. Oops. Let's see if they got anything up here. Not that we can... Alright, let's do it. She's only doing 20 damage, so let's... It's all the way down here.
Oh, a half plate armor from that healer. That is pretty nice. Alright, now we gotta guess the le right linguar here. But linguar is only doing one damage, so... It's gonna take a lot from linguar. And if he's gonna... Let's go. Ragnar has a wing. Let's go back to Sam Team and see an empty castle. Okay, so we lost a little time on chapter one, but we're making up some time here on this chapter two. Let's see how chapter three goes. Who do we got? It's a vanilla taloon. We may end up having a zero EXP taloon here. Just checking to see if anything stands out. Uh, there's Balmalmo. Might as well take care of this first. Taloon does not get the hug. And I'm gonna sell the lunch here. here. I did not mean to buy a medical herb. And I'm actually curious if there's something for like some kind of armor for a hundred bucks that would be better for... I think I got a decent deal on mirror shields here. See a taloon.
Okay, now... It's time to go treasure hunting. Treasure hunting for a silver statuette. See you, Talon. Come on, Taloon, I know you could do better than that. Maybe we'll get a nice, quick silver statuette right here. Nope, Mystic Acorns. Okay. Well, at least we hit the switch. Saloon gets knocked out by a duck spill, then at least we will have a shorter trip in the cave. Or... Hey, it's the silver statuette. I will definitely take that for a medical herb. Let's just check this floor to see if we can get a few extra items to give us a little money. Oh, that's real money. How about over here? More money, cool. Uh, you know what, that's going to be enough. Let's get out of here. Enough to get started with. Alright, let's wing to... Actually, we'll walk to Bomamo because we need to make it nighttime, so... If I can control to Loom. Alright, Saloon. Practice your running skills. Triple run fail. I don't think Taloon's a very good runner right now. There we go. Uh, I gotta get rid of something, huh? Alright, wing to Endor. Wing to Bomomo. Stay at the inn. Let's see if we can buy something for 4900 Uh, Dress of Radiance? Sure. There we go. Read the royal scroll to the king. And wing back to Endor. Sell the silver statuette. Go finish this off with buying the shop, and we will begin our reselling. Oh, I didn't get permission to own the shop. Oops. Let's do that. Pay the king a visit. Now that guy should sell us the shop.
There we go. All right. All right, Taloon, time to make money in your sleep. All right, that's not too bad. Makes 8,300 gold in his sleep. We just gotta find the right items here to resell. Something expensive. Oh, you know what, come to think of it, they got those um, stabs of punishment up here, like what we bought for Mara. That should be good for now to resell. Okay, now we're up to fourteen thousand. Uh, was there something here? Um, we can't do the sword, but we could do sword edge armor once we get more money. And that could actually be good for doing like a... Uh, we could actually grind on lethargies later. Let's do metal battle armor. I might do lethargies and metal battle armor. And I might try to carry some into chapter 5. Takes slightly longer, but it could be good to have. Especially when it's quick and convenient like it is here. Now we can get our first lethargy. And that's going to multiply the speed here. Oh, and Taloon equips it too. Sword Edge Armor is slightly more, so I am going to actually resell that because that's a little closer and easier to do. Now we could probably buy two Sword Edge Armors. Okay, so now what we're going to do here is we're going to start loading up on some... I'm going to get a couple of Sword Edge Armors here. Uh, actually, 66,000 could be good because then I could buy three Swords of Lethargy here. So I think we're going to do it that way. We're going to do one of each. And now... Let's 
by two swords of lethargy. Actually, no, we'll do three. Oh, no, we can't. All right, let's do a metal battle armor here. We gotta get rid of something. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we are gonna go back here. All right, so we got Sword Edge to resell. And let's do one Sword of Lethargy. Let's see what we got for money now. All right, we got 80,000. Um, Here. Three Swords of Lethargy, I think, should be enough, so let's get Metal Babble Armor, and then I'll just get a Staff of Punishment, and you know, enough for an Iron Claw, whatever. All right, let's go save and build the tunnel. Uh, it's not this one, it's the next one. So we spent a little extra time, but at least now we got our Swords of Lethargy. And we got a few Metal Babble Armors, so that can help in Chapter 5. I got a wing here, so let's wing to Endor. Get back a little faster. Okay, and we're making it through Chapter 3 here. Okay, we got Bray. That's pretty much all trash. Uh, we got a hero, he's just got basic clothes and a leather hat. Bray's got a thorn whip. He's got 22 attack power. He's got boom. Okay, so that actually. And revive. Okay. Uh, you know, I should check the shop over here. Oops. Let's run across the flowers and see what we got here. Um, the cave, but let's check. I guess we can do a quick check here in Actempto. Hmm. 
money. I'm going to try to keep that money to see if we can buy something, if we find something good. Hayville, we can stop back there in a minute. Abacus. That might actually help get us through the chapter. Alright, let's hit the cave, get the NPC, maybe do some leveling here. Triple run fail. get any medical herbs, did we? Alright, well if we can at least get the MPC, or get to the MPC, then we can run from... I could put Bray in the back and cough and block him and we can run, but... We shall see if Bray makes it. Nope. Uh, we don't have money. Rats, okay. We'll just try again with Hero this time. Hopefully we don't get those triple run fails. If I'm not mistaken, I think those demon toadstools emit icy gusts or violent blazes or something that can wipe out the party. Alright, hopefully Hero can get the NPC here. And maybe this will be a gunpowder jar? Nope. All right, we got Pannon, a low HP Pannon, but he's got a lot of attack power, so. That side of things is looking good. That's not looking too good for Hero. Money.
hero learn infermost. Interesting. Hero stats are pretty bad, but... Nothing down here. Let's uh, death warp. Gonna lose some of that money we got, but oh well. Let's go back up to Actempto. It's probably in one of the other chests here in Actempto. So it looks like the uh, gunpowder jar is in its vanilla location. Uh, oop, see ya, everybody. Let's try to get back down there again. There it is. Okay, let's get out of here. Maybe we'll just try to do a little bit of leveling while we're leaving here. Uh, Bray, that's not looking too good. Hopefully that was just a one-off thing for Bray. Alright, we are ready. Let's go find Keelion. Go, go, go. 
Mm, look at all these guys. All right, let's boom and let's just try using the abacus and see if it works on Balzac. Doesn't work on anybody, huh? All right, well, at least the abacus worked. Uh, let's try it on the rest of them. There we go. There's a zero EXP fight, but... There we go. Quick death there. Probably going to be more likely to use Hero than Bray, so let's get the junk on Hero. Alright, Hey Bill. I believe it was this one. Okay, so the, the only one here, um, Ragnar was okay, Christo was okay, we don't know about Taloon, uh, Hero's bad, Bray's okay, so I think what it's going to be a matter of is seeing who will equip Swords of Lethargy. Maybe metal babble swords, and that's probably gonna determine uh, who's gonna be playing here. We'll have to see how Alina is, too. She's got zero strength and zero attack power. too good to Lena to start out with. Okay, do we head up that way through the swamp? Let's check this first. Actually, we're going to have to go through the swamp. Oh, a half-plate armor. Alina, will you wear a half-plate armor? No, you will not. Okay. But I think we did get a medical herb, so that means... Probably use it going through the swamp so that Alina doesn't die. Uh, Mystic Acorns, not very helpful. Okay, this is the right cave. We made it to Endor. And we got Taloon. Hey, Taloon. We need to have you check something here. Okay, Alina does not take a Sword of Lethargy. How about a Staff of Punishment? She won't equip a Staff of Punishment either. Uh, let's see. You know, let me just have Taloon do this. Appraise. Ah, uh, Ragnar! 
That is a good thing, that Ragnar will take a Sword of Lethargy, and let's appraise this too. Alina and Ragnar. Okay, so we got a pretty strong Ragnar here. A not so good Alina. Let's uh, mark Balmalmo's spot. Uh, actually, if I want to buy some wings, I don't even have to. S they sell wings at this shop, so. Let's get rid of some stuff that we don't need, like... Good enough. All right, let's wing to Bronca. All right, Ragnar's taking the lead here for now. Let me just see if there's another cave here somewhere. We're gonna have to go through the swamp. We gotta make sure Alina. That. Ah. Right, so we gotta go revive her now. We actually gotta make sure both Alina and Tulum don't die. See what they sell here. Um, Metal Babble, um, Dragon Mail. There we go. We'll have Ragnar take on these fights because he is the strongest. Actually, it's just one fight. But... Oh, a sword of decimation from the Rogue Whisper. Interesting. So the crazy thing is, right now we got two that are zero EXP. We got both Taloon and Alina that are both zero EXP right now. I am going to wing back to Bronca because we're going to have to stay.
And whoever this Hector character is, we're definitely going to want to put them in front. It's Healy. Let's do Ragnar, Healy, Taloon, Alina. Alright, there's the lighthouse, but let's get a save point over here in Conanbur. Wow, it's far away. Conanbur. Let's go. There's Gotside up there. Let's try to take a fight here. Um, Alright, Taloon is not that great. Yeah, he's not very good at all. Alina, on the other hand, she seems much better. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do here... Stick Taloon up front. Taloon is not going to last. Give that metal babble armor over to. Whoops. Gotta get some of that off Alina's inventory here. Uh, she can't use Mystic Acorns. That did not work out too well. And Taloon is alive again. Wrong way. Yeah, I think Alina will do much better. We just gotta make sure we can find her a weapon. Uh, I didn't see how much that's gonna sell for, but... Alright, our strength seed. Three points of strength, that's good. Saloon must be your twin brother. Or he's just a fake. Fake Taloon.
Lighthouse is being a bit trolly here. use an iron spear, we can try and see. At least we've got some decent experience here. Oh, nice uh, level there, Alina. Nice uh, HP gains. Alina might start taking the lead here. This kind of HP. I think I'm going to stick Alina in front. Let's see, where's that iron spear that we just picked up? Cannot. Don't be so stubborn, Alina. If we can get Alina with the right weapon, I'm going to start running here. If we can get Alina, Alina equipped with the right weapon, then she might be good. I did see a dragon killer in Bronca, and then I think in Endor there's a metal babble sword. chest to check. It would be nice if we get the Padekia seed. If not, we will go to the Padekia. Okay, Lamp of Darkness. Uh, let me take that because uh, we can just stick it in Taloon's inventory here for now. Oh, we got Metal Babbles. Okay, this is very interesting. Um... Right, 
Ragnar is not as strong as Alina, but... He is holding the Sword of Lethargy. Uh, who's got that Fire of Serenity? Ragnar, use it. All right, so let's um, wing to Endor. I want to uh, do the Endor check right now with the four chests here. Um, so let me give that Lamp of Darkness over to Ragnar. Ragnar, use the Lamp of Darkness. Let's go do our checks in here. Leather dress, a broadsword, agility seed. Ah, uh, sure, why not? Let's. Dumbelina's medical herb. And let's hand that broad sword over to Alina and see if she knows how to use a broad sword. She does not. She's very stubborn with what she's willing to equip. Hopefully we can find her a good weapon. She's certainly uh, pretty strong here. Wayfarer's clothes, silver tarot cards. Uh, I don't know, maybe Alina? Maybe I'll equip them for now? Uh, that helps a little bit. All right, let's wing uh, to have all the wings. I think so. I guess we can discard the Lamp of Darkness. Alright, Tulum, transfer that to Ragnar and Alina. Why don't you hand that symbol of faith over to Tulum? Wing to Conanbur. All right, let's go get the boat here. And we'll get this fake Taloon. Uh... Okay, we got a wing somewhere else here, because... Okay, we got Nara. Nara. I have a question for you. Will you equip a Sword of Lethargy? Ah, very nice. Alright, let's wing to... I don't know, Bronca? Let's make it daytime. I think it was at this shop they sold Dragon Killer. Take a dragon killer. Pretty 
pretty much looking for, like, the best weapons here. Uh, we need another 4,000 to check that Metal Babel Sword. Um, there we go. Alina found her weapon. Look at that. Okay, so let's uh, figure out where we are here on the map. Here's a shrine. Oh, that's the uh, Chapter 5 one. Uh, Z Armor Cave. We can actually check that here. Let's... Oh, Mintos, okay. Um, let's grab the, uh, gray character. Let's see also what's over here. Life Force Nuts. I guess we can hit the end here. We took some damage in that fight. got Bray. Bray was good, but let's check if Bray can equip a Sword of Lethargy. He cannot. We could also check if he equips a Metal Babble Sword. He cannot. Couple strikes against Bray here. All right, let's check the Z Armor Cave really quick. Staff. Uh, I don't know, Bray, you want to give that a try? Not that I want to invest too much into Bray, because uh, it's not very good, but... items. Alright, let's see what else is on... Actually, I want to see what Mentos sells. I'm looking for Aeolus's. Oh, Stiletto Earrings. Um, I'm going to not do that right now, but... Sell staffs of healing here, so just in case we don't get healing, we could always buy some of those. All right. Let's see if there's other stuff here on them. Oh, here's another town. Seaside. Um, actually, let me just check, make these two checks here. Wayne. Life Force Nuts. I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah, Bray's got Revive. I remember somebody had Return.
Okay, this is the small metal. I can avoid the swamp, I will. Um, I'm just resetting to get out of that battle. Oh, that is interesting. The boat is actually in a piece of water that we cannot get out of, so we're going to have to wing somewhere. Alright, nothing over here. Let's check over here. Ah, <clears throat> uh, there's the tree. I'm gonna actually try climbing the tree. Don't know if we're gonna make it, but it might be worth at least checking. Not sure what kind of experience we're going to get, but okay.
Nice level. Infermost and Lightning, cool. That's gonna make uh, Nara pretty strong here. Oh, so we got a real Lucia. With barely any MP. Alright, a battle axe. Um... Alright, well we did not get any key items there. Here's a town. Maybe Roseville? Yep. Okay, so instead of using a wing, what I'll just do is I'll just save here in Roseville, and then I'll just reset. Stay at the end here. Gotta wait for this guy to run around. Now we should get the boat. Let's actually see what they sell here. Uh, not much there. Oop, this guy's in the way. All right, let's see. Mm, not much here. And not much here. Ah, uh, maybe iron masks could be good. Only bright. Okay. Okay, let's do some more exploration. Uh, did we even explore this whole part? Oh, I guess there's nothing there. All right. Okay, so we're on the east side of the map. And let's see, here's a castle. Oh, that's Bomalmo, I think. Oh, we still got more. So that might be like closer to the southeast part of the map. Oh, here's a castle. stuff here on this island. Let's take a look. Cave. Cascade Cave. Nothing over here. Here's a castle. Garden bird. Pedekia cave. Actually, we did not get the Pedekia seed, so we're going to need to go through here. Actually, let me get out of here. Let me kill off Bray in here. So let's get Bray. 
Bima Party. Hey, Alina, it's your twin sister. Samson. There we go. Ah, I didn't mean to hit that. Oops. Mirror shield. There we go. All right, we finally got put the Padecchia seed. Let's get out of here. I think I'm gonna walk out, because I think it's probably a better idea to keep this money. Okay, so now we're prepared for... Um, actually, I'll just leave it this way. So we are now prepared um, to get the other party members, but one thing that we have to be careful of is we don't want to... Oh. No, we already found Garden Burr. The thing we have to be careful of, because we already have two NPCs, we can uh, the game will mess up if we get a third NPC. So we need to... Oh yeah, that's right, the healers drop half plates. Um, so we need to uh, get rid of one of the NPCs, which is going to have to be Healy before we can get another NPC.
Oh, River 10. Oh yeah, this is... I remember seeing Godside. Oh, here's Baker's Cave. This must be Soretta here. No, that's Dyer Palace. I don't think this is Chapter 4, is it? Oh, no, that's Onyx. Oops. Okay. There's the crypt. Alright, well one thing that we could do is we could get the final key, but we do need to find Soretta. This is back to chapter 5. So chapter 5 is actually on the west end of the map. We gotta find chapter 4 land. Uh, what's this? Berlin, uh, okay, let's step out, let's... Uh, actually, let me wait till we get the other characters, because I might be killing off a few others. Uh, this looks like Chapter 4 land here. So here's Mumparaba. But I can't get Panin yet. Um... This is Actempto. Nothing we can do there. And we can't do Keelion until after we get the other party members. So, at least we found the spot. It's in the southwest corner of the map. And this is probably Keelion over here. So we'll just mark that spot. Looks like Laurent is still with Ragnar. Um, Santine. Uh, let me mark Tempe too, just so we have it. Okay, uh, what's this? We've already been here. That's Roseville, I think. So the only place now that we need to find is Soretta. And we gotta find Soretta so that we can get the other party members. Is this Roseville? Yeah. Yeah, we check that whole area. Um, I think we... That's Bomoma. Let me, uh... We might actually need some more wings, so I might actually make use of this trip here to Balmalmo to get some wings. Might have to sell some stuff here. We got a bunch of junk here in the inventory. if we can figure out where uh, Metal Slime, let's go for it. <laughs> we got him. Nice. This is going to be a dead end, I think. Oh no, that's where the Z... 
armor cave is. Uh, this is... Is this the lighthouse? Yeah. This is the beginning of chapter 5. That's Bronca. What's this? Berland. So that's the uh, chapter 1 tower. Oh, yeah, Keeves. And that's Ismet. This is that huge area that we already explored. That's Kilion. That's Santine. Now we're at the bottom of the map. Uh, that must be... Ismet. No. That's the Birdsong Tower. That's the tree. And then I found Roseville over here. I'm pretty sure I checked that area. This is Bomalmo, yeah. Having a hard time trying to find uh, Soretta. Toast there, but did I check over this way? I believe I did. I have a feeling it might be, actually be over around here somewhere. Oh, King Metals! Let's go for it. Chapter 5, and we have not found a single key item yet. But hopefully once we find, um, Soretta, then hopefully it'll be nice and quick from there. Okay, 
let's do this. She's gonna die going through that swamp. We'll just do a quick uh, in here. Nothing over here. All right, let's wing to uh, Riverton because I think there's still more over there that we need to explore. That's the Endor stuff there. Here it is. I guess somehow I must have just missed it when I was walking around this area. Alright, let's wing to Mintos. Not on that page, this page. Get this all taken care of. Alright. Nara's got the Padekia root. So we might get Mara, Hero, or Christo. Morrow was below average and Hero was bad, so... Who do we get here? We got Mara and Hero, so they're both not good. So what I think I'm gonna do is... I'm gonna wing to Burland. Although... Oh, okay, they didn't have return. I thought one of them had return. Maybe it's Christo that has return. Alright, so let's go to Burland. We're gonna do our check here. So we're gonna do Alina, Mara, Hero. And then we'll go to Keelion to get Christo. There we go. All right, nothing. Uh, let's swing to Stance. No, Mumparaba. We'll take care of uh, the Z-Helm. At least we'll get our first key item here. Uh, let's do this. Right, we gotta get Pan first.
Alright. Ragnar Wing 2. Stancia. Uh, wait a minute. Let's do Hector, Alina, Ragnar, Nara. Okay, split number one. Uh, let me check these shops here just to see. Pretty cheap sort of miracles. All right. Um, actually, we don't want to wing right now, but I think we're gonna have to get back to Bomomo. Alina, just for fun. Oh, she equips it. Let's wing to Bomomo. We're going to get more wings and get rid of the junk in the inventory. Let's also get rid of some of this stuff, like the golden bracelet. Uh, here we go, Tulum. I'm actually going to put this sword of decimation on Alina. All right, let's go save. Let's wing to Keleon. Go get Christo. Ragnar, now you get to see your twin brother.
Uh, that's not good. Item... Sword of Decimation on Helion? Okay, so Christo's going to be kind of weak when he joins, but... Very impressive. Alright, um... Let's do this. Let's wing to... Endor. Let's get Crystal a weapon here. Oh, Crystal doesn't have return. I thought he did. Ah, uh, wrong shot. Crystal will not take a sword of lethargy. Let's wing. Oh boy, Christo. We could try over a Bronca, the Dragon Killer. Somebody had stiletto earrings. You do. You're up. Okay, that might work for Christo. Let me just see if we got uh, some better defense for him. Let's get ready to go fight Baker. Uh, I'm actually going to take this off now. Alright, let's wing to Gardenburr and... I'm just gonna check this key item over here because very water.
All right, so... You know, I'm actually thinking to myself... Spend a lot of time looking around for some. Oh no, it's just Dragon right Nara. Um, Krista will take that. <clears throat> Mara will take a Metal Babble Sword. Her strength was terrible, that's the thing. Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna level up by... Uh, Christo, and hopefully he'll be okay. Sure, this is the cave here. Nope. I think Baker's Cave was west of Riverton. This, I think, is it. There it is. Okay. Oh, Z-Armor, nice. Key item number two. Let's see. Nara. Or Christo. Christo will not wear Z-Armor. Ah, nice, okay. Babble Helm. Actually. Christo could probably use a little... Uh... You know, let me... Thank <laughs> you. 
Stone of Drought, so if we need to go to the Cascade Cave, that will allow that. I hope Christo doesn't die here, but... Darn. Cordra. fight and Christo is going to get a lot of experience here. Christo learns boom. Uh, Christo, these stats are pretty not very impressive. They were a little better in Chapter 2, or whichever chapter you were in, <clears throat> than they are now, but hopefully they'll get a little better. Ooh, Lightning, that's good. If all else fails, use Lightning. Attack power is up to 79. I mean, at least he's got like lightning, explode it, stuff like that, or ice spears, whatever it was. And we can use lightning on Necrosaro phase 7, so we just have to power up the Z sword. Nighttime, we're gonna have to stay somewhere. Let's uh, wing to. I have an idea. Let's wing to Sand Team. Oh no, actually, uh, what's his name? Is uh, Taloon's in jail and he's got the magic key. Let's. Um, what's close to Garden Burr? Soretta? get annoyed with that I uh, some of the text is messed up so I think Garden Burr is right down what's this Garden Burr is over here I think right here it is
All right, I'm gonna check this basement chest and then we'll do the uh, town checks after this. All right, just the lunch. All right, let's wing. Nope, you don't have a wing. Let's wing to Bronca. Uh, they sell mirror shields, I think, at one of these stores here. Come on, get out of the way. There we go. Uh, iron something. Iron shield. Cristo. Uh, let's just keep going here. Wing two. Conimber. Okay, let's wing to Bomalmo. Um, Lakanaba is right next to Bomalmo. Oh, rats, it's Foxville. Uh, I got the two mixed up. This is Lakanaba. Maybe we'll find the Staff of Transform down here? Nope, 40 gold instead. Sage's Stone. Okay, well that actually would be very helpful with our... I'm gonna give that to Christo. Alright, um, no key items here. Let's wing to Keel, uh, no, Santine. Let's check the three chests in here. And we'll do a double kill to get Christo the experience that he needs. Heal. 
be nice if Christo gets some higher strength gains, because that's what's really going to make those stiletto earrings work well. Alright, double kill here. Uh, lightning. Level 36 Alina. Usually I don't get the party this strong, but... Alright, Christo's strength's doing better now. A little better, anyway. Alright, let's get a gas canister, Z-Sealed, and Z-Sword all at the same time. What do you think? Nope. Nada. Basura. Alright, Bomalmo. We gotta get rid of this trash. Alright, I actually didn't check to see. Do we have a metal babble? Uh, actually. Alright, I'm going to do a save. Uh, actually, no. Let's go to the uh, Colossus. We're going to go to Riverton. Nope. 
common mistake. <laughs> Double common mistake. All right, let's go up here and see what we got. Attack before I'm ready. Uh, they go a lot. Let me attack them. A wing. Scent pouch. Am I forgetting something? Side, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. All right, nothing here. That was a dud. Um, I think this is the crypt. No, the crypt may have been south of here. Remember seeing the crypt. This may have been it. Yeah, there it is. Alright, we're gonna check the crypt, and then if there's nothing in the crypt, then we're gonna do Cascade Cave. We have not even found a step. Oop, King Metals. We gotta go for it. Woo! 65,000 experience. think we need much more for Necrosara. We're already, like, really strong, plus we got buy kill. Staff of Transform. I think I'd rather do S Turk than do Cascade Cave. There's more chests there to check. So let's do this. Let's wing to 
um, Endor. I'm going to spend this money, because we're probably going to be death warping from there. So I know Christo could use a metal babble armor, and... I don't really need another sort of lethargy, but I'll just buy one anyway. Messed up text. Uh, we gotta go to Dire Palace first. Hopefully all three items will be there. We need a gas canister, we need... We're lions. Uh, i to get rid of some trash here. Whatever. Whispers, they actually drop Swords of Miracles. At least I thought they did. Um, I want to get that. Oh, I thought I got that. Oh no, Swords of Decimation. Okay, let me give that over to Christo. That's actually good that we got a Sword of Decimation there, because, um... Now we got two Swords of Decimation for Necrosaro Phase 7. Okay, let's get these eight treasure chests. Scent pouch, PU. Gold, I'm not in it for the money right now. Strength seed, that can go to Christo. That makes his stiletto earrings much stronger. Is not looking. Oh, good gas canister. Baron's horn. Don't want to call Taloon. All right. Z shield. Nope. Poison needle. All right, there could be something in there, so let's go kill Esturk.
Okay, so with the gas canister, we can check, um... The gas canister, we can check got side. Oh, Z-Shield, nice. Uh, yes, let's get rid of that scent pouch. All right, let's death warp. Just looking for a Z-Sword now. It's very possible that it could be in... Got side. If it is, then we are in go mode. Let's just see if they have Aeolus's here. correctly, we can get to got side right here. Okay, nothing here. It's got to be in... Oh, no. Actually, there's two places it could be. It could be in... I want to say, I think it's close to Mentos. A lot easier looking for stuff with this hot air balloon compared to with the boat. I'm pretty sure it was on this island.
because I remember... Uh, no, that's, um, Bronca, that whole area. This might be it. Yeah, here we go. Most likely it's going to be in here, but there is the slight possibility that it could be... Uh, who's got that? Stone of Drought, you do. There is a slight possibility that it would be in the Keeves Cave. There it is, Z-Sword. Let's go. Just out of curiosity, Christo. Nah, he won't take it. Although, he might use it on Necrosaro. Samson. Let's go. We're in go mode. All right, wing to got side. The only thing we're going to have to do here, we're going to have to leave a party member behind because we need hero equipped with the Z stuff. Uh, we're going to have to get rid of some of this trash. Alright. Um...
All right, we'll do a quick power up of the Z sword and then we will head through the final cave. have to get all the stuff back on everybody so let's give the Z sword back oh wait Christo's not here let's wait till we jump off all right so Alina needs the Z helm I believe the Z shield goes to Ragnar. And the Z armor goes to Nara. And the Z sword goes to Christo. And we gotta get them equipped. All right, let's go. Uh, no, not this time. This has been a very low encounter cave. This has been very nice. Take out these barrier bosses. All right, let's uh, just do it that way. I guess I could use lightning, but... Ow. There we go. might need to use the Sage's Stone when we, um... Yeah, 
get into this next fight. Uh, Okay, I'm actually going to fight Infernus Shadow before I fight Giga Demon because we walk through those barriers and we don't have much to heal with right now, so it makes more sense to fight these Infernus Shadows. Uh, let's Lightning and Lightning. Got a bit of resistance. Ooh. That wasn't good with that upper. Uh, let's try Infermost and explode it, maybe? Is there a beat or defeat? No. Uh, I don't know, Ice Spears? Maybe that'll be a little more... Nope. I can just keep trying lightning here. What? Uh, let's do this. Spy kill on Alina. Crystal Z sword. <clears throat> no, no! Why did I do that? Alright, buy kill on Alina, Z sword, not on Alina, on Infernus Shadow. Buy kill on Ragnar, Christo. Sword on Infernal Shadow again. All right, by kill on Christo and attack. By 
I kill on self. Alright, one down, one more to go. I'm gonna have Krista try a Z Sword on Inferno Shadow again. There we go. And as a matter of fact, I am gonna try Sword of Decimation 2. There we go. Alright, he should be toast now. There. Man, that was a tough fight. Tough when you don't have beat defeat or... Aeolus. Last barrier boss, and then we will be on to Necrosaro. Got all the wings. Uh, actually, we did have an abacus. I didn't realize that. Oh well. Let's go to Soretta. In. Revive Nara. Alright, Nara, Wing 2, Last Refuge, let's go get Necrosaro. all the way around. Alright, let's go get him. We're gonna start doing some buy kills here. 
Did Crystal learn increase? No, I believe it was. Alright, let me just uh, sage a stone here. Probably get sent into the next phase here, so we will just. No, I guess not. Okay. There we go. Alright, let's upper. Oh no. Let's buy kill Christo. Nara can buy kill herself. There we go. He's asleep. I think Nara might have increased. Yeah, she does. Alright, let's use that. Increase on. Oop. Okay, so now in this phase, we're going to have Alina use a Sword of Decimation. Ragnar and Nara will attack, and Krista will use the Sage's Stone. He's asleep. Parry, attack, attack, and Sage's Stone. The reason we are doing that is we want Necrosaro to enter into, or possibly have Necrosaro enter into Phase 7 asleep, and since Nara and Ragnar have the Swords of Lethargy, that creates the possibility that Necrosaro may start out in Phase 7 asleep. So we will find out right now. He is asleep. Okay, so let's try hitting him with the Sword of Decimation. Actually, I'm going to hit him with the Z-Sword, too. Actually, his... Okay, nice. That's actually really good. We hit him both with... Although I think Krista might be better off using Lightning here. Alright, he's back asleep. He should be gone here. There we go. Necrosaro is history. The world is saved. Thank you. 
All right, well, that's the game. Three hours, 14 minutes, 37 seconds. If we review the run here, we can look at chapter one. There was a little bit of a time loss there. Uh, I can, and this is based off of the averages. So based off of the averages, there was a little bit of a time loss in chapter one. It seemed like it was a bit of a challenge with Nara. She was not off to a very good start. Chapter two, though, we made up the time. Chapter three was a little, a slightly longer, and the reason for that is we were getting extra Swords of Lethargy, extra Metal Babel Armors, and that seemed to pay off in Chapter 5 because we were able to get Taloon right away, and he was able to give those super strong weapons and armor over to the party at the beginning, which helped us get through quicker. Took a while, though, to find the first required item. Remember looking for Soretta took a while, and then it seemed like everything was just taking a while, and even though we checked a lot of the chests where the items could have been in, they were not. So all of that just seemed to take a while to find everything. But eventually we did, and we actually uh, caught up on required item number four. We actually got ahead, and then the last two items took a little longer. And then I think that last uh, part, after we got the required items and we were in go mode, I think with fighting Infernus Shadow, it took a long time. So that's one of the things that made things go a little longer. But... Overall, I mean, it was an okay seed. Um, yeah. So, I think I'm going to call that a stream here. So, thank you for watching, and hope you have a great rest of the evening.